coffee on. Um, this is actually my second coffee. It is 2.30ish, I think, right now in the afternoon. I went to the farmer's market today. I guess I can show you what I got at the farmer's market. All right, so at the farmer's market, I picked up my favorite, which are these cherry tomatoes. Look how deliciously, these are organic, by the way, and I, I don't know, they might be local. I assume they're local, they're from the farmer's market, but look how antioxidant rich lycopene that is. That is gorgeous. I love cherry tomatoes. That's just for like snacks, but apparently the lycopene increases significantly when you cook the tomatoes. And lucky for me, I do love cooked tomatoes. I got some organic blackberries as well. These look gorgeous. I cannot wait to dig into these as well. I, I really love, really love small berries, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, but let's see what else did I get? Oh, I got a peck of peppers. So I got about six poblano peppers for a recipe I'm doing and um, some jalapeno. Just some odds and ends for recipes like scallions and cilantro. And then I went to, after that, to Fresh Market, the Fresh Market, which is sort of like an, it's marketed as an upscale market. I walked in, it's really nice inside. There is classical music playing. Um, the bathroom smelled very citrusy. And um, I was able to find some healthy foods and things that I normally get and some chocolate that I was really into. But I think this is my first vlog that I'm filming since I've been back from Arizona. So my last vlog, I think my last vlog, I was packing to go to Texas and Arizona. I didn't really film much or vlog much in Texas just because it wasn't really something new and exciting. I was just visiting family. But when I did go to Arizona, I got some footage that I will sort of insert here, but it was very hot, it was very dry, it was very um, deserty. Uh, I was in Scottsdale, so I flew into Phoenix from Charlotte, just nonstop, and um, got there, it was like 110 degrees, it felt like an oven, it was a super, super dry heat, which if you know me, you know that I love humid, humid, humidity, humid air, humid heat, I prefer that over dry air. Um, just because I think my, it works better for my skin as well as I think that also my eyes, oh wow, look at that. Um, they don't get as, when I was in Scottsdale, the heat, when I walked out, my eyes started burning immediately. I started getting really red eyes. I feel like the humidity is so much better for my, for my eyes. We stayed at a really awesome Airbnb. You know what? I actually filmed some of that Airbnb. I don't know if you want the tour, but I'm going to insert the tour here just so you can see the entirety of that house. Okay, so starting from the front door, here is the entrance, the grand entrance. It's like a circular path right here that gets you to three different rooms. So the dining, the living, and then like a second bonus living space right here. Go down the steps, here is a bonus living space that looks out the front yard. Can you see the cacti out there? Ooh, it is dry, it is the desert. Here is, oh, nice, nice fireplace. I guess that would be great in the winter. Um, a little bar over here, if you are so inclined. I haven't played that tennis table. It also doubles up as a uh, pool table, as you can see. Here's Marilyn Monroe. Okay, and here is just looking at the entrance right here. And you see the dining space, so here's the dining space. Nice, I haven't really used that either. And here, walking through into the living room. It's a nice spacious living space area. I haven't really used that TV at all, actually. And look at that view of the pool. So I have swam in the pool at least once. Nice spacious kitchen. There's an island in the middle. Here is the breakfast nook. Big refrigerator, an oven, and a microwave on top. And I like this pantry right here because it has this little design right there. It says pantry. I think that's cute. Let's go to these three back bedrooms here by the living rooms. Here's a bedroom that has a bath. Here is another bedroom. These are the smaller bedrooms, not the um, 
the main primary bath. Bathroom, like a Jack and Jill, goes into this, ooh, nice and dark, dark bedroom. I think this, where does this door go to? Oh, I love the darkness too. So. Oh, it goes to the back patio, so. Wait, what is that? I'm gonna need to go back there and investigate. Okay, so, yeah, I think that goes to the back patio. Let's walk straight through to the master, or the primary. Here's a, if I can find the light switch. Okay, here is half bath, powder room, I guess, is what they call it. And then that goes to the garage. There is washer and dryer right here. I'm not sure what that door goes to. I think there's something else, but it has a keypad on it, so I can't get into it. Oh, is that a scanner or a printer? Interesting. I haven't really investigated this room that much. Um, and here is the skylight. So I am not a fan of skylights at all, but they appear to be predominant um, in the southwest. Okay, and here is the primary bedroom. This is the bedroom that I'm staying in. So it's a little messy because I have just like all my uh, items on the floor, but it's a good space, good spacious primary bedroom. This is a king bed. I have my computer there. It's nice. Again, haven't used <laughs> that TV. And look at all this light right here. This is just from the skylight in the bathroom. Again, I do not care for skylights. I do not want them in a bathroom. I do not want them in a bedroom. And here's sort of like a Santa Fe style shower, bathtub, which I haven't used, water closet in there. Lots of lot, lots and lots of light. And here is a walk-in closet. So goes back there and then it also goes back here. I've actually been hanging out in here because it's there's no windows and it's away from the skylights and the UV. All right, and I think that's the tour. So, oh, so this door right here goes to the pool. Yeah, but overall, um, the Airbnb was Fantastic. Scottsdale is really pretty. It has sort of like, it's a residential area, but it's really like a resorty feel. Um, I liked it. I like visiting. So it was a fun experience and I'm sure I will go back. I put that more of that sun bum hair sea spray in my hair today, but what I was trying to do, okay, so I was trying to, I got a diffuser for my hair dryer and I was trying to get like more fullness right here, but it wound up just looking the same as it normally does. Like it just looks the exact same. I haven't been able to get like a good, I don't, I don't know what I'm expecting. I need to go to a hairstylist and be like, here's a picture, can you do this? <laughs> I don't know if my hair just grows differently, but I really want more like volume, messy texture at the top. Um, and I've been able to get it somewhat, but it's not quite there, like it just continues to like lay flat. But yeah, in terms of skincare today, I, when I went to the farmer's market, blah, 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 blah. when I went to the farmer's market, I layered two sunscreens. So I did, actually, I did something that was quite controversial, controversial in the skincare realm, at least here on YouTube, in the fact that I sort of, to a certain extent, mixed two different sunscreens. Both SPF 30, both purely mineral. I did the CeraVe SPF 30 facial sunscreen, hydrating sunscreen, non-tinted. Non and then I did the MD Solar Sciences SPF 30 tinted. And I did that because the MD Solar Sciences, which I have reviewed here on the channel before, is very dark for my skin tone. And it's not personally something that I can use alone by itself. I have to really mix it with something lighter. And I personally, like it doesn't really mess up the, how it sets up on my skin, at least that I can see. Um, but whether or not it's impacting the SPF, I don't know. I would just assume that because it's, they're both mineral sunscreens, that if I'm mixing the two, and they're both SPF 30, like it was just, it would still give me protection, right? Yeah, I did that and I can show you exactly what I did. Okay, so I mixed these two. I actually don't really have that much in here. I was like really trying to get every last drop out of the CeraVe, but my sister gave this to me. And 
On its own, the CeraVe Hydrating SPF 30 sunscreen is very, very white. It's very casty. Even on me, someone who has fairly pale skin, I would say, but this is a non-tinted hydrating purely mineral sunscreen with titanium dioxide 6%, zinc oxide uh, 5%. So great broad spectrum mineral sunscreen, but again, on its own, it's too white. And then I have a ton of these MD Solar Sciences tinted SPF 30 sunscreens. Can you see? Is the lighting good? Yeah, here we go. Um, yeah, and on its own, this is too dark. So it's sort of like the Goldilocks complex. So what I basically did is I, and I do look quite, I still look quite pale in this lighting, but um, I think it works for the rest of my body, right? Yeah, that I think that works. Um, but anyway, the, what I did is I did like, I, I tend to measure out a quarter of a teaspoon for my face. And so what I did is I did eighth of a teaspoon roughly of the CeraVe and then eighth of a teaspoon roughly of the MD Solar Sciences. And I put it on my palm and I just dotted away on my face and then rubbed it in. And that's sort of how I mixed it. I didn't really like mix it together with my fingers, but I did mix it in the sense that I applied it on my face. And there's even people here on YouTube that even though they say not to mix sunscreens, they recommend doing one layer and then going on another layer with another sunscreen. So I just assume that mixing it at the same time really wouldn't have any sort of significant impact. And I don't have any um, redness or erythema after being in the sun for at least short periods of time. I still, I, I still wore a wide brim hat at the farmer's market. No, no noticeable difference in my skin after wearing the two sunscreens. And there are, each sunscreen has different concentrations of the zinc, like different uh, ratios of concentrations of the titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. I don't know if you can see. That doesn't really matter. All I'm looking at really is the SPF of 30. Both SPF 30, both mineral, and then you have the iron oxides from this providing blue light and visible light protection, which also comes from the sun in addition to just indoor lighting and your computer screens and things like that. So I I know it's controversial to mix sunscreens, but this is what I do. And I've recommended it on in the past. I don't know if I necessarily recommend mixing sunscreens, but I don't see it as an issue, if that makes sense. And it works for me. I'm gonna continue doing it because I prefer it. Alrighty, I am making my lunch. So I have my sort of vegetable plate going on here, but with some, sharp cheddar cheese, cherry tomatoes, organic cherry tomatoes, organic broccoli, green broccoli, and some hummus. This is store-bought hummus. I've made it in the past. You've seen in my past vlogs. This is store-bought hummus, hummus from Whole Foods, just your plain run-of-the-mill hummus. I'm going to make a almond butter sandwich with this keto bread that I'm trying out. Well, I have been trying out. It's okay. I mean, it's it looks like white bread, basically. If you can see it, it's not really focusing, but uh, focus. It's made with white bread. I can just show you. It's in, I have it in the freezer, so I'm. it's in the oven right now, just heating up and thawing out. But I, uh, it's eight grams of fiber, 11 grams of carbohydrates, so three grams per slice of net carbs. And it's okay. It doesn't obviously taste exactly like regular bread and i'm not really used to eating sandwich bread anyway because i don't eat bread or grains typically i try to stay away from that because of the blood sugar and insulin fluctuations that occur not that i necessarily have to stay away from it but i am very preventative about things like that and um also just carbs in general especially refined white carbs tend to not be very health promoting but this isn't gluten-free it's still made with wheat starch i think and some wheat protein to add to help to reduce that glycemic load but yeah i'm gonna make some i'm gonna make an almond but yeah i'm gonna make an almond butter sandwich with that and drinking my and drinking my zevia strawberry flavored zevia zevia i should say i usually i pronounce it zevia some people say zevia for some reason but zevia like stevia and that's that. I don't really have dessert or like fruit or anything. Actually, you know what? I did just go to, let me turn on some of the lights. I did just go to the Fresh Market. Have you heard of that grocery store? It's in North Carolina, but 
This is the keto keto dark chocolate with salted almonds. And I think it's from Brooklyn, actually Brooklyn born. There's the Brooklyn Bridge right there. And I've had this brand before. I like it quite a bit. It is sweetened with, let's see, what is it sweetened with? Monk fruit extract as well as, I think that's it. It has some tapioca fiber, but yeah, looking forward to munching on that after lunch. Here's a better shot of the white um, keto bread, by the way. So it looks like real bread, right? Hey, here we go. This is the keto chocolate. Let's see if it will focus. Yeah, I already showed it to you anyway. I don't know what's going on with my camera recently. It's just not focusing. <gasps> Look at this. Isn't that cool? So this is the dark chocolate salted almond. All right, let's go ahead and try that, shall we? Ah, hoo <laughs> Hmm. You know what, it's not overly sweet, which I like. It's quite good actually. And definitely is dark, dark chocolate. So there's no sugar. It's only sweetened with monk fruit extract and it's kind of down on the list. So it's not super sweet at all. Oh my gosh, this whole bar. No, half of the bar contains nine grams of fiber, so maybe two grams of net carbs for this. I would think that it's probably the tapioca fiber that's in here. Yeah, it's good. I highly recommend. Now that my focus is working again, um, you can see the brand. <laughs> Brooklyn Born. I know they sell this at, I think Whole Foods. They might sell this at Kroger. I don't have a Kroger near me, but um, Harris Teeter is like the next big thing. This is actually excellent. Cause I really like, so if you're not into dark chocolate and you don't like the bitter flavors, this probably isn't the chocolate for you, but I quite like it. I thought I would maybe reapply some sunscreen. So I know I am wearing a mix of the CeraVe and the, to the MD Solar Sciences Tinted, but I wanted to just put on top, um, just the Tinted, cause I'm feeling like I look a little pale. I don't know, but like the rest of my body is sort of matching. You know what? Maybe I'm not soup. Maybe it's just I'm a pale person. Maybe it's not the sunscreen. <laughs> I don't know. But um, I thought I'd put this on just for a little bit of color and I can show you what I've been doing lately, but um, maybe I'll save that for another vlog. I'm going to put on maybe another eighth of a teaspoon. Well, yeah, that's about eighth of a teaspoon. So I just have that. This is purely mineral SPF 30 of the MD Solar Sciences. You're not gonna fall. I have you on a my Oculus Quest box right now, so um, I still need to... You know what I've been doing lately in these vlogs? I keep saying, um, 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 having to cut out all these UM words, and it's getting annoying. I need to get that out of my vocabulary. But, uh, whoa, there I go again. So yeah, I have you on my Oculus Quest box because my, 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 what is this, a camera? That's the other thing, just like putting a camera in front of my face, I can't think of words, normal English words that aren't hard at all. So not sure what's going on with that. I just need to get more comfortable in front of the camera. I think I need to film more, I need to vlog more. My goal really is to vlog every single day, so I have something interesting at least a little bit in these week vlogs because uh, i really like these week vlogs quite a bit but what was i saying about my camera so yeah i think i mentioned this before that my my tripod when i was in new york broke off the little peg piece broke off in the hole the tripod hole of my camera so i haven't been able to get that fixed because then i would be out of out of a camera for like a week probably and so I've just been putting my camera on top of cardboard boxes, which apparently isn't unheard of. I've heard other prominent YouTubers doing that as well. So this is gonna provide a little bit of a little bit of color, I would I would say. The tinted mineral sunscreen. This is again zinc oxide, titanium dioxide, but it has that iron oxide. 
The new Solar Sciences is great, I think, for people with a little bit darker skin tone. I think because I have the CeraVe non-tinted sunscreen on right now, it's not really showing the dark tint as much. But I think people with darker skin tones, as well people with uh, as well as with as well as people with dry skin, this would work really well because it's very moisturizing, but it's not oily. Um, I think it's like the silicones. Can someone just I don't know slap me or something whenever I say the word um? It's getting annoying. Okay, so I I'm reapplying because I tend to reapply at least once during the day, even if I'm not going outside just because I want to make sure that I'm getting adequate coverage and protection. The UV, UVA goes straight through the windows. Those are the aging rays and, you, and those go straight through the windows. So cumulative exposure to that over time is what contributes to the physical signs of aging for the most part. And uh, UVB though, you can't get a sunburn through glass because glass blocks UVB, UVB of the burning rays. But yeah, I tried to reapply at least once. And I want to go for a walk later too. I want to get some more movement exercise. I can't tell you this week, I wasn't super like busy, but I didn't get a lot of exercise. I didn't, I didn't go for a walk. I did a little bit of stretching here and there. I did a little bit of um, some yoga moves, which I've been trying to get back into. But uh, other than that, I can't, for some reason, I used to be able to do yoga and I was able to do just moves, like a, a whole routine by myself without a video, without an instructor. I was just doing my own thing. But now these days, I feel like I don't have the patience to just do even a 20 minute yoga session, which is really all you need, I think, like a vinyasa 20 minute yoga session. Um, there I go again, just saying the word um all the time. I know some YouTubers just cut out every um in their in their videos, and I try to do that. I think it's just like natural whenever you're talking to a camera, <laughs> I don't know. But I have reapplied, and I think it looks fine, I guess. My lips are a little dry though, despite being really humid. It is 89 degrees here. It might be 90 degrees, but because of the humidity here in Charlotte, North Carolina, it has, it's like, it feel the real feel is 10 degrees warmer. So it's supposed to feel like 100 degrees here. And I have to tell you, at the farmer's market, it was so challenging because I was, I was even in shorts and short sleeves, but I was still warm. And I think it was like all the sunscreen I was wearing, it was making me feel warmer. I really think that because um, the CeraVe is super hydrating and it felt like it was like just dripping off me and I was feeling really warm. Can you tell the contrast between the MD Solar Sciences that I put on, like the, the tint versus my naked body? Um, there's no sunscreen on my arms. So that just shows you the sort of contrast there. Even though obviously I do have that white mineral pasty sunscreen on underneath, it's a lot. I'm gonna film again later. So, and I'm gonna like just like in the evening, I'm gonna take off all of this sunscreen so that you don't see. So you just see my naked. Why do I keep saying naked? That's really bothersome. Um, just so you can see my like non sunscreen face once, just once in your life. But yeah, I think that's going to conclude me for this vlog. I think I've gotten a good amount of content this weekend and I hope you enjoyed the experience. Maybe you enjoyed the ride with me. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try and find a hypnosis session to help me forget the word um because I just said it just now, but I'm going to go. Uh, I will see you in the next vlog. If you like this video, please hit the like button down below. Hit the subscribe button. I think it's down there. Stick with me if you want to <laughs> experience more skincare, anti-aging, longevity, lifestyle vlogs. I'd love to have you here. And in the meantime, we have a Good run, good good one, good rest of your day. I will see you in the next vlog. Bye. Bye.